Anybody here with us? We're here to help. What can we help you with? These people are not here to hurt you. They're not here to judge you. We are not here to hurt you or judge you. We're not here to ask you to leave. We just want to communicate. We just want to talk. Hello? What's your name? That's weird. That was for a while. I just get the chills, dude. That was like screaming. Yeah. That was like a pause or something. Like that. What's your name? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. It was a scream. God or? basically are like-minded individuals who wanted to find answers uh, about paranormal activity, paranormal in general. You know, is the activity really happening and why is it happening? Because once we think we've gotten a tiger by the tail, as far as a possible theory or an answer, another door opens up with a new question. So that's kind of who we are and what we're about. I am the co-founder. I am the infrared technology individual that handles all of that. We became our own team, the Southern Michigan Paranormals, and that's where we've been since 2009. The owner of the house, actually he buys homes in different various neighborhoods and he gets them at a reasonable price, cleans them up. One morning he came into work on the house and uh, as he opened up the front door, he looked right straight to the kitchen and seen a little boy run from the left side to the right side of the kitchen. There was another situation down here in this cellar, this basement here. Uh, there was two men working. They looked over to the steps over here and the one guy reported seeing a male, uh, an older male standing on the stairs. You guys hearing things back behind you? The water's yep. on. The water's on. The group itself has two missions. The one is, is community, we care. The second mission is historic preservation. Uh, we're real big on that here in Michigan. Even if we just give that time to listen and we came out and did all the bells and whistles and we knew there was no activity, but we gave it the college try. Um, it still meant something to them that somebody was willing to, to listen. We've had emotional moments with these people. We have cried with these people um, because we care. With our cases, our work that we do, um, it seems that a lot of the homeowners or clients have a lot of social things going on in their life as far as like social negativities. We find that if the person starts to you know, seek out help, a lot of that negative energy seems to dissipate. The faucet seemed to turn on by itself or something had turned it on. Can you try and do something even better than that? Let us know that you're here. It might be warmer now, though. What's that? Hey. What was that? Oh, shit. Leaking some water, Bob. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of water. Oh, man. What the? I mean, what? But the, no, that's that water. It was twice tonight with water. It's crazy, it's just, man. Yeah. You did upstairs ask for them to turn the water on again. Yeah, so do something, yeah. Who knows? Better. So yeah, do something better, yeah. No doubt. No. Crazy. I don't feel that it's my job to do anything other than tell you about what I've experienced, and you can take it with a grain of salt, or you can hang on every word. It makes no difference to me. I can't even begin to describe it in any interview how I feel about, you know, my heart and my soul being involved in this. I mean, I've got the group tattooed on my arm for the love of God. Uh, because it's part of me. As it stands now, I've learned so much in the process and I continue to learn. I don't have all the answers. I don't believe any paranormal group really does. We can give you, as I said, our best guess, our best thought um, on connecting what it is we're gathering to the facts. Facts being research, facts of what is around us, what we can see, see, hear, taste, and touch type of deal. And we that's 
how you really should operate and that's how we operate. That's how I operate.